What's up, YouTube? And I got a CyEngine mod installed for you guys. I know I was talking about getting uh, Lollipop, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Been busy. And I saw a request that uh, somebody wanted a CyEngine mod installed instead of a Lollipop. So I'll do the Lollipop one later, which I said it's like Jasmine Rom, but I'm going to do this one first. Alright, now I bet you guys are sitting right there like, uh, who is that in the bottom right hand screen? That is my friend Walter. Walter, say hi to everybody. Hi. I will link his channel in the description. He is a vlogger. And uh, I'm showing him how I do things here. How to do video recording, video editing. And to be honest with everybody, I screwed up my G3 <laughs> in the progress. He's sitting right there laughing at me. So this is like take two. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how it's done. Alright, on this page here that I'm looking at, this one's also in the description, you're going to need to download three files, CyEngineMod, Google Apps, and the firmware. What we're going to do is we're going to install CyEngineMod, well download it first, download the latest one. next one is download your G apps these are the settings I chose for it this one was by default this one's by default but I choose which one I want and then I chose micro the default was stock if you just want stock then go ahead and get it if you want micro or anything else just hover your mouse over the thing and it'll tell you what it what it's for and just uh, after you select which one then click on the download button and uh, last one is the boot stacks. That is also the firmware. Click on the link. You come here, you tell it to begin download, and then it'll bring up a couple of mirrors, just like the primary mirror. This one's gonna take a bit, but there it goes. Just click on primary download and just start downloading those files. Now after you get those files downloaded, we are going to move them to our LG G3. Here are my files. Yours will be located in downloads or whatever you may program your browser to put them at. But I took mine from my downloads folder and put them on my desktop. What you're going to do is we're going to copy them. We are going to take our LG G3s and we're going to plug it up. I forgot to plug mine in in the beginning. Um, go to USB connected make sure MTP is selected. Once you do that, we are going to take our files, put them in our VS985 4G, go to our storage, and find the CM file. Now this is my screw ups right here, but don't worry about those. But just make a folder called CM, or you can throw them in the root, I just put them in a separate folder for now, and I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. Oh, to let you guys know, my friend Walter, he is watching me do all this. Except for my camera is giving me hell, so I bet he's going to be watching my video too, because we are going to go straight to our G3s. Uh, let's move my microphone. Alright, on your G3, you can unplug it from here. We're going to power off our phone. Hold the power, uh, hold the uh, volume down button, excuse me. Hold the volume down button and power button at the same time. If you're doing that, you'll be booted into a menu. Let's bring this into the here. All right, once you do that, press the volume down button to where you go to factory data reset. Press the power button to accept. Volume down, power. Alright, in order for a CyEngine mod to work, if you guys see my other videos, you're going to need to upgrade to the latest uh, TWRP latest version. Alright, and uh, once you're here on TWRP, we're going to go to Backup. Select all these options here as you see on my phone. I go to Options and I select Disable Free Space Check, because it does take a lot of time to do. 
and just hold this uh, thing down and slide it on over. I'm not going to do it because I created a backup and I just want to make this short and simple. So when your phone is fully backed up, you'll see it give you two options. I think it gives you a back button and reboot system. Just click on the back, then back arrow again to be here in this menu. Go to wipe, advanced wipe, and we're going to check Delvic and Arc Cache system data and cache. Do not check your internal system. Do not check your micro SD card. This will wipe them clean out. So after you get those four checked, we're going to swipe and go ahead and accept the wipe process. Then we're going to click on back or back arrow, back arrow, and we're going to go to install. And we're to my screw up now. He he he. <laughs> All right. So you should be on your SD card. It should look like this. If you created a folder called CyEngineMod or CM or Operating System, whatever the name is, click on it, minus CM. You'll get these three zip files right here. Do not worry about those three. I meant to get them off my phone, but those were my screw-ups. So yeah, go ahead and laugh at me. Walter was laughing at me <laughs> earlier because I unzipped them. And then I'm like, wait a minute, this don't look right. So we're going to start with the Bootstack zip first. So click on it, add more zips. Then we're going to do CyEngine mod, add more zips, and then we're going to do the G apps. After you click on the G apps, tap and hold this uh, slider, slide it all the way to the right, and it's going to mean to install CyEngine mod. Now, if you guys are curious to why I wiped my phone out, it's because that if you're installing a different ROM. Some ROMs do not like to be dirty flash. Somebody thought they hard bricked their phone and they did it. And I told them that you gotta wipe, you can't dirty flash the ROM. Cause if you do, you're gonna lead into some screw ups. It's not gonna work right. So clear out your phone. And that's what he did. And he finally successfully got CyEngine mod installed. So this is almost done. So no needing to uh, edit this video. It's verifying the system image. It should take, yeah, there it goes. There's your CyEngine, no, there's your Open G app. So yeah, with all those uh, zips I put in there, this will take some time. I'll let you guys watch the whole install process. It's like so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and my friend's laughing in the background. You know what, I'll probably just be right back. Just take it a little bit longer than usual so I'll be right back all right and we're back so once you see this we're gonna go ahead and uh, reboot our system And right there is your CyEngine mod. And I'm going to go ahead and let it do its boot up process. Should take about a few minutes to five minutes. I think if your phone sticks at this boot screen for longer than 10 minutes, there's a problem. But I don't see there's a problem. So I'll be right back and I'll show you guys a little tour of it. I'm interested in this Marshmallow version of CyEngine mod. I think Marshmallow is CyEngine mod 13. So be right back. Uh, you see how I'm doing this? Yes. So what have you learned so far? Um, <laughs> the microphone? Now, you remember how I was talking to you about lighting, about yes. I want to make sure the phone will come out clear? I'll let you know I am going to show everybody this, what I'm talking to you about, you know, seeing if everybody will just look at me and go, are you a great teacher? 
<laughs> yeah, I wish I was a great teacher, but I don't think I am. I just do the best that I can. Like, hey, everybody, it's Laser Wolf over here. Let's hope my camera yeah. don't mess up. There's like a short on a wire. But like I was showing you earlier, right here is the area where my phone was at. And uh, you see how you can see the phone just fine. Where my V10 is sitting at, you kind of get the same view as it's looking at. But you see how everything's kind of clear. It's not too distorted. Unlike the hard drives, you can't really see anything what they said. But I'm more focusing on the phone than anything else. Yes. So, yeah, that's what it's doing right now. I mean, I bet you people are, like, looking at this and going, like... Okay, where's the image on the top right? Well, it ain't there right now. <laughs> because the phone's still doing its thing. I'm going to cut off my camera because it will cut off on its own. It won't let me minimize this. What the fuck? All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Saiyan Jamad, and it looks like I am right. It looks like it is Marshmallow. I don't like that kind of view. Let's do the Google Now launcher. Everything's so dark. What the hell? There we go. Now we can sort of see. There we go. There we go. That's better, I guess. But this is supposed to be marshmallow, as it looks like. So let's find out. About phone. Yeah, right there. Android version. So there is your CyEngine mod. 13B. Not 13B. Why am I saying 13B? <laughs> Damn you, G4. 13. <laughs> CyEngine version. CyEngine mod version 13. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a like, subscribe, and check out Walter's channel and tell me what you think. I am teaching him how to do a lot of things. <coughs> you guys heard me in the beginning talking to him while I'm working on his phone. But <laughs> I'll look into doing Jasmine Rom Lollipop at a next video whenever I get to it. But I hope you guys enjoy this Cyan Mod Marshmallow. Peace.